Hello and welcome to the Free Pixel channels. My name is Jacob and this is AI the Summon Files. I have seen this game go around a bit. It also created by by Shinsop, a gaming company I'm a fair bit aware of. Some of their games, Dungeon Rampa, 999, the 999 series. This is also created by the same developers. Uh, not the developer, the main developer of the 999 series. I'm interested to see what will happen. Um, English, yes. Everything seems to be right there. Let's start. <laughs> right, auto save, good. The story is a work of fiction. Names, characters, places, and the ing Yeah. Alright. I get it. This reminds you very much of Harry Potter intro. Even a similar tone. Am I the only one that gets that? It was one specific movie. Uh, Prisoner of Azkaban, I believe. Maybe it's the game. I remember really playing that game when I was a kid. Mm, PS2. No, it wasn't Prisoner of Azkaban. It was... Uh, the Order. When Harry creates an order in the secret room of requirements. Really reminded me of that. So how do we start off this game? Right. A dead person. I do actually think I remember seeing a demo of this. I have seen videos going around lately which make me think of it. but. Uh, or playing it, but uh, I think I remember seeing a demo played on this a long time ago, and she is missing an eye. Well, these stories are usually quiet uh, by this creator. If you ever have seen someone play the, the 999 series or such. Hey, yeah, the Somnium Files. Day one, Friday. I guess this is some sort of right. It's some sort of investigation. We start off directly with the investigation, I guess. Right. During the investigation, the main character Dante inspects the scenes uh, and uh, collects uh, uh, just by extent of Dante position is fixed. Right. Try looking around the moon. So. That moves the cursor and right. Uh, 
I I move oh I can move that way also. I think I move with the miles but better. Uh, do we have got any investigation? That's something uh, I usually miss but could be useful. X for map. See any, but I can just be missing it. Red barrier line wraps around the scene. In the old days, they used to use yellow caution tape for this. Now we got the the hologram technology that they can do the job even better. And sometimes we use uh, use good old fashioned uh, yellow tape. Yes, like here. I thought this game was voice acted. This rain is uh, depressing. Has it uh, been uh, like this uh, all day? A horse from merry-go-round. Yes, it wo is voice acted. It looks like it's skewered. I guess not the... Uh... This is not a message from the criminal. Hi, Dad. Hi, Ipa. The park was already in this state before the crime. Why? My best hypothesis is that this is the result of a teenage prank. Right. Is that how you present Muset Aiba? It doesn't look like it's uh, letting happen. Uh... Oh, right, so as long as it's green, it's still a hologram barrier. The city skyscraper. Oh. Road H area. No, oh, the horses. The horses is right at upside down, it looks almost painful. It's a bench. It's been uh, eight years since uh, Doom Park closed. The what weather has got them to it pretty bad. First of all, it's getting empty by the panda ride looks lonely. The old Ferris wheel is over there. It's like an uh, enormous eye staring down at you. So I guess this guy is gonna have uh, quite a lot to do with eyes. Uh, what happens if I... No, nothing. Is uh, this uh, the control room? The place where the, the operator sits uh, to turn uh, the ride on and off. It, it uh, took a look... I took a look inside, but it didn't see yeah, anything uh, that might be uh, a clue. The merry-go-run control room. There are no, no leads here. When you speak to a person, you will... Uh, an investigator from uh, Met... Inspector from Metro. I hope he finds uh, a lead. He's uh, inspecting this... Now, I guess that doesn't up glow and green. Um, what's your name? Wow, I, I never thought a great detective like you would ask me my name. 
<laughs> it's Kagami, sir. Not yet, sir. It's my duty, sir. Thank you. But it is still here. It's Kagami, sir. <laughs> Kagami. Oh, he's getting irritated. Are you serious? It's Kagami! <laughs> uh, sorry, dude. We already learned his name. I don't need to ask him again. I'm pretty sure I know his name. He told me already. His name is... Um, what was it again? Hey, what'd you say your name was? Oh, come on, kid. Not me. Hey. Hello? Hey. I know you can hear me, Kagami. <laughs> Such a fucking asshole. So you do know my name. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. Could be able to ask one more time. Not too good, unfortunately. We're not finding much. Columbus. He runs uh, ABIS and the special all the, the special branch of the Metropolis League then police and I report uh, directly to her. Right now she's standing in the Pouring rain with her umbrella up. Right, right. Um. Oh. No? Not yet. We just found the victim. Too early to say anything for sure. But this could be a copycat killer at work. From the case six years ago. The case six years ago? For whatever reason, she didn't. Uh, Elaborate. The case six years ago. It's unusual for this time of year. It'll be hard to find any usable prints. Metro got a call about two hours ago. Someone heard screaming coming from the park. Beat cop responded, checked out the scene. And found the corpse. Yeah. Thing is, the caller was anonymous. I'll give you the details later. Alright, so uh, standard. Right. Are you serious? Yes, why not? You're special agent Kaname Date. You're a member of Abyss, and that means you answer to me. Abyss, right. I called you here to inspect the scene, Date. Sure, boss. But inspecting dead bodies isn't usually part of the job. Isn't it? Usually, no. But tonight it is. Because you know this woman, don't you, Date? I had to tell you. You deserve to know. Her name's Nadami Shoko. You knew her, right? What was the relationship like? I heard you two have been close for years. I wouldn't say that. We were just acquaintances. There's this fence set up around the Madrid go round, probably to prevent the nosy kids from getting a caught in the machinery. It's a fence.
Are you serious? It's Kagami! Yep. Perfect. The horse from the magic around. It's uh, the main uh, problem holding up uh, the roof. The body is uh, mounted on uh, the one of the horses. You should uh, get a better look. I took uh, a step forward. Ah, sorry, sir. Could you please not get any closer? Oh, come on, Kidami. <laughs> we haven't taken any footprints yet. I appreciate your understanding. Allow me to assist you. That's Aiba. Her uh, official uh, dis designation is uh, AI Ball. She is uh, an uh, artificial intelligence built into my fake uh, eye, an eye uh, for uh, an eye, an AI for an eye. Yeah. You want me to use the zoom, right? Correct. That will allow you to investigate without physically disturbing the scene. Eye socket is vacant. Yes, I noticed. Has had her left eyeball removed. It seems like it, yes. Left eye. The most likely scenario is that the killer or killers removed it. Well, uh, we don't know that for sure. A crow or some other animal could have pulled it off the corpse. Impossible. Hmm. The amount of blood indicates that the victim's eye was removed before her death. Well, that's pleasant, isn't it? Carved it out while she was still alive. Yes, that's the Correct. typical behavior for circular, is it not? Multiple puncture wounds to the front of the torso. Cause of death, blood loss from these wounds. Body temperature and rigor mortis indicate the time of death was approximately six hours ago. That would place the crime occurring around 5 p.m. Several punch wounds, but uh, no cut uh, or the hair. That's me. The victim was probably stabbed with something pointed and smooth. Like an ice pick. Right? No. What was that? Analyzing the source of the sound. Sonic analysis indicates the sound originated from inside the merry-go-round central column. Right. Inside the column? Can't I... about the arm? Oh, boss? Yeah, I definitely did. I couldn't tell where it came from, though. Sound? I didn't hear anything. Well, you're dead. Kidame, you heard something, right? You heard it too, sir? I wonder what it was. Good boy, Kidame. Date, use me to see through it's the column. from inside her. Utilize the x ray mode. Huh. X-ray. No. Oh. oh no. It appears as though someone is inside. Threw down my uh, umbrella and they run uh, to the pillar. Hey, wait! Don't be rude, Kidami. Don't be rude to Kidami. I pushed uh, him uh, aside and uh, ran up uh, on uh, the platform. Hey, I know you're in there. If you can hear me, say something. No re reply. Looking close, the, I found uh, a small handle uh, on the column. 
big egg. I grabbed it uh, hard and tried to pull it open. It won't budge. It may be locked from the inside. Damn it! Are you going to shoot them? Hey, yep. whoever's in there, stay back. Another roll. What is that? Like it? It looks cool, but still. Hi, the little girl. What are you doing with Suki. that ice pick? Then one apparently we know her. Right, I feel like we got in the middle of the story and not necessarily the beginning. your dream I'm me correct you are Date and you are well it's some like I bow without the filter You're... what are you doing aha uh -huh. Where do I even start with this? I don't know, don't I? I don't know. I can answer all of your queries. I don't think you can. Alright then. Who are you? I'm me, of course. Rosanna. I know that voice. Iba? Indeed. Why do you look like a fluorescent shrimp? Huh. What are you talking about? I must look so cute that you've lost your mind. Hmm. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, I would lecture you about your awful taste, but... What are you doing in my dream? You called me. Did I? My consciousness and your own are linked. This is why I appear in your dreams. Cons but I shouldn't waste time oh. explaining further. Yeah, sorry. You will have forgotten this by the time you wake up. This is why I appear in your dreams. Consider me an alter ego. Alter ego. Now we're going full dungeon rump already. I will discuss this with you soon when you're awake. I'm starting to sort out my situation, but my brain isn't cooperating. It uh, must be because I'm uh, sleeping right now. Uh, things uh, that I should know. I can't remember. My head uh, is uh, all fuzzy. I'm not uh, my uh, usual self. It's like uh, I'm uh, inside someone else's head. What uh, a strange uh, feeling. So, normally I would take this as some sort of... Uh, I don't know, just... Uh, I wouldn't take it as foreshadowing, but uh, since the developer is who is, I'm going to take this as foreshadowing. And say we are not inside our own body right now, in this dream. Putting that aside, Which I don't fully understand well. what it means. No, not at all. I suppose that's fine. Let us begin. Begin what? Somnium scan! Activate! Hmm. Got it. Got, Got what? what? Oh. I have completed a scan of your Somnium. 
your dream world. My simulations have encountered several mental locks. Mental locks? Have you already forgotten? Well, yes, I seem to have forgotten a lot. Huh? I thought we established that In already. Short, Somnium is a world built from the deepest recesses of your consciousness. This world is divided into several layers. Each layer stands upon a foundation, a base component. Think of these foundations as mental blocks, or simply blocks for convenience. Mental locks must be broken before we can proceed deeper into consciousness. The truth is always hidden within the deepest layers. Therefore, we must... Um... Remove the mental locks? Correct. So I just need to turn on all the lights and open the door? Shouldn't be too hard. Don't be so sure. Appearances in this world can be deceiving. Uh, this is better. Let's start with the door. Okay. Please direct me to the door and give me instructions. I see. Or... So I can do whatever I want with you in this world. No, don't they? Well, I suppose that is true, but... Alright, let's do this. <laughs> Break it on top. Play the dream world. This, this. Kill dream. Just uh, the light to wake up on. Turn off. Or. Box. Push move over. Right. Think I got this. A door locked with a padlock. It appears all I have to do is open this door. Why that hand motion? I can't touch it. That is to be expected. Dreams are not bound by logic. This is Date's Somnium, a reality built by dreams. My Somnium? I see. Your mental faculties must be hazy because your body is currently sleeping. I suppose I will have to explain. Yes, I'd rather you not disturb my precious sleep. Shut up and listen! Date, look at that. Places where the light touches have become colored. Perhaps They're those not all are tangible. Every human mind is unique. Every human dream has its own set of rules. I see. If you understand these rules, the dream world uh, itself becomes malleable. That? Who was that? I don't know. You must know. This is your dream. It is created from your memories. I don't know what to tell you. I have no idea who that was. You may remember upon reflection. I need to give you commands that will unlock the mental locks, right? Indeed. But it is difficult to predict exactly how an object will behave in Somnium. Think outside the box. Trying different actions will help solve the problem. Now, what should I have you do? Don't forget that I have a veto. Hmm. Actually, I got a map. Oh, right. A winter iris. What? Do you not recognize it? This is an iris that blooms in winter. A flower with a woman's name. Well, uh, several flowers got a woman's name. Actually, it's more like the opposite. Several women's women got flowers name. It's remarkably solid. I can hardly believe it's a plant. It's symbolic of my lifestyle. Put your roots down, stand your ground. Or perhaps it just means you are an inconvenient annoyance. You were able to touch it. Correct. So, I just need to keep this up? 
something like that. Of course, uh, some flowers probably have gotten named after women. Hey, I didn't know you could smell. I can't. I'm pantomiming. Isn't it easier to visualize this way? Sure. Never. Sure. Not enough. Pardon? Harder. You gotta smell it harder. What? Uh, okay. <laughs> Amazing suction. Bravo. Marvelous. What are you experiencing so regularly to cause this to happen in your dreams? I got no idea. I don't think Dante knows either. Alright, to check your progress, I get it. I saw it and I got it directly when it moved. A switch. The thorns are gone. I guess now I didn't I get the to switch. check out the thorns because I sucked up the plant with my nose. Who's that? A woman. Brown hair. Good to remember all of this, I think. Another place you can touch. I would rather be sleeping. Big one says. I get it. Don't need to read it, I get it. A basket. I cannot see inside it. Well A model of a UFO. A stuffed chupacabra? And a one dollar bill. Occult stuff, maybe? Yes, Does some like it. Interest you, Date? The truth is out there. It is a trending Sure. Topic. Anyone could have encountered items such as these. True. Somebody said to be a cult. This is somewhat different than a cult. I can. Oh, come on. A floor lamp shaped like a rose. I cannot find a switch or a plug. Even in my dream, I don't get what I want. In <sighs> fairness, this is your memory, but this is not your house. It's somebody else's house. Somebody from my memory. Right, but that's no idea. good to know. Could be anyone. Not necessarily. Dreams do contain an element of randomness, but oftentimes they draw together individuals with strong personal connections. Dreams are constructed similarly to how information is transmitted through the brain. So what do you take away from all this? Don't turn off the light. I want to see this. That was kind of dirty. Shut up. <laughs> a lamp. It looks like a rose. Um. <laughs> oh. You don't have to kick it so hard. Give it everything you've got. That's my motto. Uh, it didn't even budge. I saw the skeleton's skull move slightly. Hey, Date, are we gonna get him too? Huh? What's what with that smile? Oh. That actually did something. A skeleton? It appears to be bleeding from the left eye. There are traces of blood around the left eye socket. Even though it's just bone? This skeleton is clinging to some small bit of life. I hope my bones die and stay dead, like they should. A glass of wine. I think hit is the right option, so... Have a sip. Leave it to me. Hey! That's not the sip. <laughs> I feel kind of good. Why isn't AI getting drunk? <laughs> Why do I have to listen to Date diss me all the time? <laughs> if I would get, she would oh, hand the mining, yes, drunk. like with the flower. Someone else can come take her. 
No? Right? A skeleton. I guess it's just one more thing to... Apparently not. A skeleton? You just want someone to talk to, huh? True. Hello, my name is Iba. What is your name? How are you? I am currently 92% charged and feeling well. Right? Hey, don't ignore me. Stupid bony man. Your mother is a stupid bony girl. Bony, bony, bony. Stop saying bony. Are you finished? My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. Yes, we all know that mean. I wouldn't be surprised actually if it was a reference to that. Know this, skeleton. I harbor no grudges against you. Hi yeah! Right. What? Look, look, the wall. This doesn't seem like a good thing. Well, no, that's not a good thing, is it? Now everything ready Do you is have an light. irrepressible urge for destruction you've been holding back all this time? Maybe. Even if I did, adults have to learn moderation, you know. But definitely. Who is he? Are you sure you don't know? I don't know. He looks like some old man. You could describe him a little more generously. Why? He denied them. I didn't read it, but it was the first thing I saw. There it is. What? Seems all like fairly useful stuff. Oh, well, that's unpleasant, isn't it? is taking care of her. This was her mother and she's dead. This is our boss. This is our eyeball. And this is Dante. Five years. According to settings. You could flip a sh and switch. With other words. And this is the badass revolver. Revolvers are already badass, you don't need to make them anymore. Uh, I guess it's not bad. You do. Any weapons deserve to be more badass. A gun came out of the skull? The revolver. It won't go off? It should be fine. Look at this hot magnum. I could ventilate some crooks with this thing. Sure Don't you get can. excited. Remind you of anyone? No. 
Is she calling him out for being a, a huge joke with, a with guns? Do you think something this size would fit? Might fit if you work it in a little. And Try here comes the dirty yerk. I suppose. Hmm. I see. The gun was the key. I thought the answer well, well, well. would be shooting was because we shot the carousel. Okay, that's it. This dream uh, whatever. Is over. I suppose this dream is over then. Guess I guess I'll wake so. up now. Good. I'll open it. All right. Let's see what's inside. The guy. Well, it's something. Oh. Well, that's not good. That's the girl that sat on the couch. Hi there. Right, click. It can't just go by itself, can it? Well, good day there, boss. Good morning, Date. Good morning. I was waiting for you. Right, well, I think this is a good place to end the first episodes, um, I will record them more sometime later. Uh, hope you have enjoyed this episode, and I see you all next time, goodbye.